We're here in Covent Garden on the piazza and uh, I'm going to be showing you my Tom Davis bespoke opticians here. Now, I've got to just point one thing out because I love it when I walk around the corner and I get this view of my beautiful store. In most of my stores, I have slightly different profiles. So although there's lots of phrases which are the same, um, in Covent Garden we've got a lot more sunglasses than anywhere else. A lot more interesting pieces here that I've designed just for this store. I also have the only collection of sports frames uh, in this store. So if you're interested in sort of sports or performance eyewear, um, especially bespoke performance eyewear, I've got some really interesting titanium pieces there. Um, the luxury frames and the horn, um, more sunglasses, the obligatory uh, Love Union Jack uh, frame which I designed and I put that in all my stores and, and it's in various different versions but it's a beautiful frame, got to have that. Um, but yeah, I've got, ev I've got pretty much everything you could need um, including my wonderful nose bar where we basically measure the shape of your nose and use these to design the frame around your features. It's, uh, it's the most important part of my store. Beautiful titanium and then down into my clinic. So in this clinic I've got all the same equipment as my other stores. I've got the Humphrey Field Analyzer, I've got the Eye Profiler, I've got the All Important OCT and then the sort of standard equipment that most opticians have as well. Um, the design of the clinic is it's, it's different to my other ones. I've tried to make a slightly different feeling in each clinic. This one's got chimneys and I put these chimneys in uh, give it a little bit of sense of height and futurism but I really like the design and the feel of this clinic. There's one fun fact though I should tell you about. When you're having your eyes tested uh, if, it, if you're lucky you'll be able to hear the ballet dancers practicing because we're directly below and behind the Royal Opera House. In fact, you can also hear them practicing. You can hear the faint warblings of an opera going on as well, if you're lucky. 